Good, Good morning, morning Afro. Afro. My name is Ethan. My name is Eleonora. Today is tu- yeah, Tuesday, December 19, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention all sophomores, anyone, anyone interested in being an officer for the class of 2026 should see Mr. Shortest in room 109 to pick up a petition. Petitions must be submitted to Mr. Shortest by tomorrow, December 20th. Elections will be held after the break. Are you a 10th or 11th grader who is looking to apply to the Lancaster County Career and Technology Center, CTC, for the 2024-2025 school year? Do you need help applying to the CTC? Does the process seem very confusing? We are here to help. Come on December 22nd between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. to the lounge where Mrs. Baldorf and Mrs. K will be there to assist you through the process. Please make sure you check with your teacher before coming for help. We hope to see you there. Now over to Jacob with the news. She's doing sign language. Put the peanut butter balls down and the sugar cookies down because December 19th is all about National Hard Candy Day. While we're a little sticky about the origins of this holiday, it can be safely said that hard candy has been a long preferred sweet snack by many societies in the medieval period. Sugar, the only true ingredient in candy, was prohibitively expensive. Thus, the Jolly Ranchers and Blow Pots of the Dark Ages were reserved for the royal and wealthy family. Quite a difference from the penny candy you can pick up for cents on the dollar today. Over the years, confection, confectioners have refined the process to be an exact science. And we now know exactly how hot we need the sugar to create sweet, sticky, crunchy, and cracking hard candy. So get your Tootsie Pops and your toothbrushes ready. Now back to the main dance. Would you like a sweet treat this holiday season? If so, we have the perfect opportunity for you. The prom committee is holding a candy cane sale in lunch from Thursday, December 14th to Wednesday. December 20th. Buy one for yourself or have one delivered to a friend before the holiday break. Regular <laughs> candy canes are a dollar each. And specialty candy canes are two dollars each. Get into the holiday spirit and contribute to making a great prom this year with the candy cane sale during lunch. The lost and found tables outside of the main office are starting to pile up. Please check the lost and found if you are missing any items. During the holiday break, the tables will be cleared. It is holiday spirit week. Today is favorite characters, Wednesday is hats and socks, Thursday is candy cane colors, and Fridays is PJs. Now over to lunch and sports with Cami. Yo, what up, gang? Know, like it's really your boy things, like, back at it again, because like, like, period one slacking. For lunch to today, to we have French toast like or pancakes, boy. scrambled Very eggs, sausage patties or like bacon chocolate. cinnamon rolls, uh, crispy so chicken wrap, crayon apple chicken salad, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, hash browns, assorted veggies, cherry crisp, fresh fruit, or 100% juice slushy. We can only ask or wonder that he is asking some departed relative for forgiveness for this atrocious performance. Friday, boys basketball, <laughs> 159-52 to 52 at Garden Spot. Marcus Harden had 18 and Brayden Brown had 16. The girls also won versus Garden Spot, 50-14. to 14. They led by 33-10 to 10 at half and held Garden Spot to only four points in the second half. Marie McCracken had 12 and Leah Caldwell had 11. Bowling won 5-2 to two versus Warwick. Top bowler was Sam Buckwalter with a 672. Today, rifle is at Garden Spot and wrestling is at Lampeter Strasburg. Now back to the main desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Attack period five today. Have a, have a day, Ephrata. Yeah. <laughs>